Here's a quick video of what's left of the uh, Sears at the Oshawa Center. And this has been this way for a few years now, which is really surprising and a little scary because uh, back in the old days, and as in 15, 20 years ago, a store this size would have been filled up in no time. Like it closes on Monday, you'd hear the announcement on Tuesday, and then within a few months, there'd be you know a, a new big box store that went in there, another type of Sears, like a J.C. Penney or whatever. Well, they're not in Canada, but you know what I mean. But now it just seems like those giant stores can't seem to pull in the amount of customers that they used to, thanks to places like Amazon. And it's kind of sad, and I'm not exactly sure what the Oshawa Center is going to do with this spot here. But uh, I've seen this a lot, uh, mainly through uh, Retail Archaeology, which is an awesome YouTube channel. If you don't know what it is, you should check it out. I'll link the channel in the description so you can find it. Uh, he covers a lot of stuff like this, dead balls all over. I think he's in Arizona. And there's a lot of giant spots left open when places like JCPenney and Marshalls close and nothing goes in to replace them. So this is a little disconcerting, I suppose. But at the same time, brick and mortar is going to die. It's going to die. And uh, we've all helped it die by continuously shopping at Amazon. I bought 37 things there this week. How many have you bought? So yeah. So thanks for checking this out. Have a good day.